What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. I want to talk to you guys today about progressing from a beginner stage to an intermediate stage. So in doing this work, we all start off as beginners, right? Some start off from further away. Some guys are very scared to talk to people in general. Some people are just scared to talk to women. Some guys are okay with talking with women, but some guys are scared to flirt with women and so on and so forth. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk about the progression of things and I wanna give you guys an exercise to go out and do this weekend that'll help you really go from a place of beginner to more of an intermediate stage. So again, when I first started doing this work, I was very much a beginner and the idea of stopping strangers period was very scary for me. Now, I didn't have a, a, a huge problem with stopping men, but I had a huge problem with stopping women. I didn't know if they were gonna stop for me. I was scared of getting rejected. I felt like I was bothering them. I was I was being weird. I was being a creep. I had all these stories come up, so it was really weird, right? Brian really hit me onto the idea of doing indirect stops, or this is one of the tools that we use during the workshops. Go out and ask for time and directions. And so in doing this, I started to notice that I started to get really relaxed after a couple sets of indirect stops versus just going out and straight talking to women that would really just fry my nervous system completely. So I noticed that I was when I went about myself after these workshops, the one thing that really relaxed me fast was doing these indirect stops. It wasn't the highs, it was the indirect stops for me. Now the highs can do that and the highs do do that. But for the most part on average, I definitely roll with the indirect stops more. Um, being able to stop in front of a person, ask them the time or directions, and then learn how to eventually swing that into a conversation that'll last about two or three minutes and then a little bit longer than that over time. And what it did was it gave me a chance for my nervous system to relax in front of people because subconsciously people were scary and they were to be feared and my body would tense up and bind up with them, especially women. After doing a couple of those, I started to just feel way more relaxed in front of women. So when I stopped and asked for the girls for the time, it didn't bother me anymore because I knew they were gonna stop and I knew that they were gonna ask, they were gonna answer my question because it was a low tension kind of question. Now. The funny thing is here, here is that there's really no difference between the low tension stuff and the higher tension. I like you. I think you're sexy being direct. But when you're a beginner, it seems like that's leaps and bounds away. The only difference is how you show up in that. Now, when you feel more confident to ask questions like time or directions, notice how there's not a lot of tension in that, even for you yourself. It's very easy to walk up and ask somebody for time or directions, possibly. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But on average, for most guys, it is. If you show up with that same energy and you're direct or ask the girl you like her or that you're interested in her, people respond the same. Because again, we always tell you guys, it's your energy that they're responding to and your, your level of confidence. That's how a lot of guys, including myself, can get away with saying some raunchy or straightforward things to a girl and she laugh and she giggle because we're very congruent with what we're feeling but also we're not scared or binding up in the body, tightening up, pulling away, being meek and, and small about it, right? We're owning it just like we would own asking for time or directions. So I want you guys to use this as a tool this weekend to really better yourselves with approaching because the more you do this stuff, the easier it's gonna to get to say more high level things, more raunchier things, riskier things, if that's what you wanna do, which I think is always fun to do because it gets a really good laugh out of people. Girls love it because it exudes a lot of confidence when you can walk up and say some things that are, you walk up and say things that are a little more ballsy and, and straightforward and straight to the point. But also for you as a guy, what it does is it takes all the beating around the bush out of the equation and gets straight to the point so that now you can have a real conversation about what you're there for and not one that you're slowly trying to build up and beat around the bush towards, okay? So here's what I want you guys to do this weekend. This is the exercise, okay? Find out where you're starting. Are you a guy who's scared of just talking to men in general? Are you a guy who's just scared of talking to women? Are you a guy who's just scared of talking to groups of women? Or are you a guy who's just scared of flirting with women? Find out where you're on that spectrum. Everybody's somewhere, okay? And it's not bad that you are at a lower level if you're just scared of talking to men. That's a perfect place to be because you're gonna grow a whole lot and you're also gonna have these small wins that are gonna feel much bigger to you than it would if you were a guy who was okay with talking to guys already. So small wins are huge here, okay? So for the guys who are scared of talking to men, I want you guys to use indirects to get comfortable with talking to people in general, men. So it will look something like this. You go out and you do five indirect stops. Five indirect stops is one set. So maybe go out and do two sets if you're completely terrified of stopping people. After your first set of five, relax. Notice how that feels in your body. Is there a lot of fear? Is there a lot of anxiety? Are you shaking? Take a moment to fill all that stuff out, but journal. 
journaling is key because journaling will give you the insight that you didn't have when you were in these interactions. A lot of what we do in our approaching is have realizations after the fact. So say for instance, you walk into a guy and then you're like, hey, I'm just asking for the time, I'm looking for the time, or you know what time it is. Or do you know where Starbucks is? Do you know where coffee bean is around here? And it'll give you a chance to really observe what you were doing in that interaction, how nervous you were, where you pulled away, where you're holding back, where you're tightening up. After the fact, after you do your five, just take a moment and journal that stuff down. But also what it will do is as you're going further with more sets, you start to see yourself drop in, relax more. You start to realize that you're changing. And that's what a lot of us don't see is that we're changing. Seeing those changes and seeing those small wins are huge for growth and they're huge for your confidence. Now you don't gotta go out and get the hottest girl. You don't, you just gotta have baby small steps. So talking to a guy scares you and then as you progress in the day, and it gets easier talking to guys, write that stuff down. Because what's gonna happen next is that you're going to progress into the next level, which is talking to men with women, right? So you're gonna to talk to couples. If you see a guy and his girl, you're gonna stop them and ask them for the time. Now, why is that a progression? Well, now you have the added tension of a woman in the interaction that makes it just a little more tension than it was before when you were only stopping guys. Because guys are like bros, right? Guys will help you out, they don't care. Sometimes you have that added effect, a woman, it makes your nervous system freeze up, freak out, makes it do what it does. And you need to kind of confront that and face that. It's a low level of tension. So I would say if you can do that, go out and do maybe two sets of just talking to guys and then the next two sets or a set just talking to couples only. Now, as you start to progress and get more relaxed in your body with couples, start to just talk to women only, right? Maybe do a set of just talking to women only and then Eventually, I want you to move up to talking to two girls and then talking to groups of girls as you progress. Now, again, this is this is ideally for a weekend, but you can you can use this throughout your whole week, the whole month. It doesn't have to be all compact to a weekend. But I say test the waters and play with them. OK, just so you can start to really get better at it progressively. Consistency is key here. So go out, talk to men, talk to men with women, talk to women by themselves and then talk to women who are in pairs or in groups. It's going to really boost your confidence over time. And again, you might not get it all in the first day and you probably won't. And that's totally fine. You have two or three days to really ramp yourself up. And maybe the second day you're still doing what you did the first day. But then maybe on that third day, you actually do talk to a girl who's by herself or, or a girl who's with a girl. And those are wins that we want you guys to keep looking at and keep continuing to harness over time. Okay. So just so I'm clear, go out, talk to men, do two sets of five stops. Ramp it up slowly, talk to a guy with a girl, see if you can do a set or two of those. And then if you, once you start to relax, notice where you're relaxing, if you're not, if you're ready, if you're not, and then go and talk to a girl who's by herself. And if it's too much tension for you, only do one set, okay? Remember, you're asking low level tension questions, time and directions. Most people will stop for that. I would say 90% of people will stop for that. Um, and if you're, again, if you're feeling more confident after doing one girl, then ramp your way up to talking to girls who are in pairs or groups. And that might look like going to a bar or going to a shopping center where there's two girls together, mom and daughter, two friends, something like that, okay? So I hope this helps you guys. Um, again, don't forget the journal is super crucial. Again, again, what we tell you guys is that, and what I know of is the realizations that you have when you do these stops are really what grows you because you might see a lot in yourself. You might see a lot that the girl was doing or energy that she was giving you that you didn't see in the interaction when your brain was going haywire, okay? So again, write this stuff down and let us know the results in the comment because we constantly like reading these things and we wanna know if you guys are having the results that, you, that, you're, that you're here to get. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, we love hearing from you guys as well. Comment below and remember, only the confident really live. Peace.